Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks School. In this video, we are going to solve another problem which is check for binary from Geeks for Geeks practice portal. So from the Geeks for Geeks practice portal, we have come into the problem section and we have applied the filter of school. So because of that, we are only going to get the basic school level problem. So in this video, we are going to solve the problem check for binary. Okay. So uh, let's start with the problem. So here is the problem statement. Let's just first read the problem statement, understand the problem, and then we'll write the algorithm and then move towards the code. Also, as I code in Java language, so I will be changing the language from here. You can choose whichever language in which you are comfortable. Also, students, if you're not comfortable in Java and uh, you are having hard time understanding how to write the code what you can do is you can just understand the approach and algorithm and try it yourself if still you're not able to find write the solution then you can connect to us on G gfg discord channel the link will be in the description box you can just ping to me ask the doubt and i'll help you out over there okay so let's first see the problem as the problem is saying given a non-empty sequence of characters str so we have a string uh, which which like uh, which will have a uh, characters a uh, non empty sequence of characters okay return true if the sequence is binary else returns false so we have to check if the string that is given to us as having a uh, is binary or not now how to check if the string is binary or not see uh, for what are the binary numbers binary numbers are zeros and ones right so if our string is uh, consisting of all the like all the characters in the strings are only zeros and ones then in that case you can see that yes uh, the string is binary otherwise the string is not binary now as you can see in the first example str is 101 so all the characters are either 0 or 1 so that's why we have got 1 as the output because uh, this string is binary right for another example 75 we are getting 0 because 7 and 5 are not binary numbers so each and every character is not binary number okay so we are going to return false in that case and we are going to get 0 over here now, as you can see over here, we are going to return a boolean. So, uh, other, our uh, output will be either true or false. Okay. Now, let's first talk about the approach of solving this problem. So, if I talk about the approach, see, what we have to first do is we have to uh, traverse throughout our string. So, basically, first thing is to traverse our string, right? Once we'll start traversing our string, we are going to check if each and every character is binary or not. So for that, what you are going to have do is you are going to get a character ch by using a dot caret function by using char at function that we have in Java. So using that, you will be getting a character ch and then you will be checking if that ch, if that ch is either 0 or 1 then you are going to continue this process like you are going to move to the next character and then again and again but if it is any other number any other number then 0 and 1 so if it is any other number ex except for 0 or 1 if it is any other number any other thing then in that case what you have to do is you have to return false from here okay you have to return false from here and for, from for this what we are going to do is initially we are going to have a flag okay we are going to have a flag and initially we will be considering that our uh, string is binary string so initially we are going to initialize it to true okay and at each and every step we are going to uh, write that okay if this is the condition then my flag is true okay so uh, let me just again reiterate everything. So we are going to traverse the string. We are going to get the character, one one character. And with each character, we are going to check if it is zero and one. If it is zero and one, then my flag will remain true because it is a binary string still. And if it is not zero and one, then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to return false from that point only because we are not going to iterate over the string uh, like any further because uh, as soon as I have get I have got any uh, non-binary number, then at that point I can say that my string is not binary. For example, let's assume that one zero seven one one zero one one one. 
so if this is my input and this is my string as an input when i when i'll reach to this point this is 7 right when i will reach to this character now because i have got 7 so this is not a binary string so i'm not going to check all these characters i'm just going to return false from this point only okay so i hope that this thing is uh, understood now so let's start writing the code for this so what we are going to have is we are going to have a, a flag so let's write a boolean flag so boolean flag equals to true because we are assuming that our string is a binary string initially only okay then what we have to do is we have to we are going to have the length of the string so int n because we need to traverse over the string right so str dot length function we are also going to create a character ch char ch which is going to store character at a particular index okay now let's move uh, for like let's start iterating over the array over the string sorry so for int i equals 0 i is less than n and i plus plus now in this loop what what is the first thing that i need to do i need to find the character so ch equal to str dot caret i i hope that you are already familiar with all the string functions that we have in java if not you can refer to my isc crash course playlist there i have uh, talked about all the functions that we have in strings okay now i have to check if this uh, character is a binary uh, character or not so if my ch is equals equals to one or my ch is equals equals to zero if this is the condition then what i have to do is i have to i have to simply keep my flag equal to true okay <coughs> if this is not the case else what i have to do i have to return false okay so you can see all what i can do is i can just initialize my oh, there to there's another way to do this that is initialize my flag to false and then just i have not applied a, and then just simply apply a break from here so that will come out of the loop and at the end uh, uh, before uh, like finishing this function what i can do is i can simply return the flag return the value of flag okay so i hope that it's pretty much clear let's just run this and let's see if this is working or not so we have started compiling the problem let's see okay so you can see we have successfully compiled the problem let's just sum it and let's see if it is passing all the test cases or not As you can see it has passed all the test cases so that's it from my side if you like the video please click on the like button please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends if you have any doubt you can connect to us on discord channel the link is in the description box thank you everyone